People in our course are very positive to take the lectures. For example, some people interrupt to the lectures to ask uh, their questions. Um, in Japan, students' attitudes are passive more than active, so it's a bit difficult to adjust such education system, not system, but attitude in here for the first time. But now I'm getting used to a little bit. Because in Japan, like we usually have to be passive and uh, we have to absorb everything what teacher said. <laughs> but here, like we have to be always critically. So mm. we always think about like, a, is it right or wrong? Or mm. we have to think about like, we don't, we shouldn't believe everything. So mm. <laughs> we need to question about everything. Mm. So I think it's a good thing, but sometimes it confused me because mm. like there is no answer. So we have to keep thinking about and questioning. And, but I think this is a learning process. Mm. Yeah. In Japan, we are required to have like a correct answer or one specific answer. So if I think, if I um, have like a different kind of opinion or incorrect answer i like and then i tell i told them to the student in a course in a class i feel a bit shame if i mm. say like something incorrect mm. but the, that's the japanese education system i think we need to answer very like a specific answer what we have to like we basically have multiple answer ed examination system so we have to choose one correct answer but here i think uh, Nothing is wrong. <laughs> like everything is, I mean, okay. Everybody has different kind of opinion. Mm -hmm. So they are very welcome to um, participate in the lecture. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good things, I think. Japanese people can learn such things. Diversity is really like a good thing for studying here mm -hmm. because I have never worked in the the foreign countries, mm -hmm. but in my class, like some students work in the like North Korea, like uh, <laughs> yes, uh -huh. yeah, like the other students who had worked in like uh, the South Asia, like Thailand or Vietnam or something. So, like their experience sounds really like interesting for me. Mm -hmm. So and usually, usually we cannot hear this kind of experience mm -hmm. in Japan. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, like these stories or experience really inspired me to study or to have a different perspective. Yeah. Sometimes um, the difficulty is um, everyone has uh, different perspectives or background. Um, it means uh, <laughs> we do we do not have any like common understandings. So if people come from all over the world. I, I cannot understand what they are really talking about because, for example, education system is totally different. So we need to explain like more details than people who are in Japan. Yes. Most of my course may have like, their own opinion based on their experience or their study background or something. So like having discussion with them are quite difficult for me. Because, of course, the, the timing to cut in the discussion is, of course, difficult. But at the same time, I need to have my own opinion to show my experience or to say my like expression with, uh, uh, to them. I have to admit that I feel sometimes left behind in the class due to my <laughs> poor English skill. And so um, I think... Uh, is, um, Japanese student uh, uh, need more ex more effort uh, for pre preparing for the classes uh, or making opinions in the class. Yeah, actually, we don't use to show our opinion or like if 
Uh, like if we think about like our opinion is really important or our opinion is really like uh, unique, but it's really important for them. But it's uh, quite difficult to show our opinion in, to them because we feel like oh, this like my opinion is not good or <laughs> it doesn't help the other students understanding. So I think the way of thinking is uh, quite diff different from others. What was surprising for me when I came here was the social class. In Japan, we don't really care about much, like a family background or social status. But I feel like uh, in here, uh, there is a like a deep social class uh, awareness or uh, consciousness. So students, not only the students, uh, all the people in here, thinks that um, they're defined uh, by the social class. So it's not very difficult issues. <laughs> it's not only the university students have problem, but um, if in Japan, um, the more students make effort, the more they would get chance or opportunity to be better life. Mm -hmm. So maybe the university in UK, maybe like uh, can run the kind of things um, from Japan. Yes, it, it's not on, only the education system, mm -hmm. cultural matter. Right? I think there is only like a supporting system in Japan, for yeah. example, in terms of mm -hmm. like, like financial support and mm -hmm. also like there are so many learning support in Japan who are left behind in terms of learning system mm -hmm. or like a different family background or something. Like in Japan, <laughs> there, is all, uh, there is some like strong connection between the current students and graduate mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, students yeah, who yeah. already mm -hmm. work. And, mm -hmm. and I think this connection is really like a benefit to the current students in terms of finding a job mm -hmm. or thinking about what they want to yeah. work. Yeah. So I think this kind of helps can a good, like, good things for students, mm -hmm. I yeah. think. Yes.